What are the 10 WTF moments inside the Dragon Ball series? Don't blame me if I break you. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do weekly discussion about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. What are the 10 WTF moments inside the Dragon Ball series? Now when I'm saying WTF, I'm referring what the flip moments, meaning when you're watching something inside Dragon Ball Z, ah, and out of nowhere something happens, just like, what the flip? That's the type of moment I'm talking about. Now, when I say Dragon Ball, I'm discussing about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, all of them, can or not can it, we're going to discuss about the 10 WTF moment, which may as be like, yo, really? So, at the end of the discussion, I'd like for you guys to share me your 10 moments of what you had when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, your WTF moment, as I'll be sharing with you guys my top 10. So, everybody, let's get right to the list. Now you know Yamcha is going to be in this list and that is when Yamcha dies by Saber Man. Now honestly when Yamcha is fighting Saber Man I'm just like yo really Yamcha way to go finally Yamcha stepped up and he actually managed to beat one. When he managed to beat it I'm just like wow man way to go Yamcha you did it. But then Akira Toriyama had to make it be a WTF moment because out of nowhere Saber Man goes grabs Yamcha, suicide and Yamcha dies with him. And when I saw that I'm just like what the flip? When Goku gives Cell a sense of being. Now, I get it, Goku. You want Cell to play, you want to be fair by giving Cell a sense of being because he's been worn out with the fight against you and you want Gohan and Cell to go out 100%. And you want this to be a fair battle, but come on. This is Cell we're talking about. The guy who doesn't play fair. And you see what he did. He ended up turning into a bomb and you have to give up your life. And when I saw that, when Goku gave Cell the moment, he sent me the moment he gave it, I'm just like, really? What the flip? Honestly, what's wrong with you, Goku? Why would you do something like that? Now, this moment actually gets me every time when I watch it, and that is the ending of Dragon Ball Z. More specifically, Goku leaves with Oob. Honestly, when I saw this moment, I actually got a little upset. I'm just like, yo, what kind of ending is that? This guy gets up, takes Ubin in his back, and says, Alright guys, I'm gone, bye. He doesn't give a crap about his family, and just leaves with Ub to train. Like, honestly, you have a granddaughter who was just born, and you want to be there to see her grow up, but you have no feelings towards that? You just want to go and train? And when I saw Goku say, this is it, guys. Till next time, see ya, and he leaves with Ub. I was just like, what the flip? Why, Goku? Why? Now this is going to be a 2 and a 1 and it has to relate with Beerus the Destroyer. The first one is when we found out that it was Beerus who sealed Okai to the Z-Sword. When I, when I saw that moment I'm just like whoa what the flip? Beerus did that? I never expect someone like Beerus to do something that something like that to old Kai. And another thing about Beerus is when we found out the truth about the destruction of Planet Vegeta. We learned that it was actually Beerus who told Frieza to destroy that planet. It's the reason why Planet Vegeta has been destroyed. And when I found out that it was Beerus, I'm pretty sure all you guys anticipated this and we all had the what the flip moment. Now I'm pretty sure everybody had this feeling when we first saw that that is when Cell returns right after dying. I felt that this was a really pissed off moment right here because honestly Goku gave his life to protect the earth and next thing we know, we see Cell return the next moment saying, Huh, I'm back, Goku failed. I just felt that what Goku did, that heroic move he did, was just for nothing. It went to race, and on top of that, Goku's life was gone. He couldn't return. This is going to be another two in a one. And the first one is, When Vegeta's sacrifice couldn't kill Majin Buu. For the first time, when I saw Vegeta give up his life to save someone else's life. I just had so much respect for Vegeta. I'm like, yo, Vegeta. Way to go bro, thumbs up, that's amazing. You stepped up, you cared for someone else besides yourself. You got my respect. But then, Akira Toriyama really made a WTF moment right here for Vegeta. Like, he made Vegeta go out epically 
and then when Vegeta died, turns out Majin Buu didn't die. He was still alive. And when I saw that, I was just like, really Akira? Really? You're gonna screw Vegeta over like that? And this definitely qualifies to be a big what the flip moment. Now this is when Super Saiyan Blue Goku gets shot by Servant with his ray gun. Honestly man, this was actually not just for me but when I went to the theaters to watch this moment, everyone in the theater was just like, what the flip? Because honestly we all anticipate that Super Saiyan Blue is Goku's strongest form. He's actually a god right there and therefore something as a ray gun shouldn't even phase him. He's a god, you know, he has the power of a god, that shouldn't phase him but turns out even if you drop your guard down, you could still get hurt. You always have to have your guard up. And that clearly proves right there what happened with Goku. And on top of that, we realize that it's Frieza. That was his backup plan in case he lost. So that Raygun must have had a huge Zenkai to, in order to do that to a Super Saiyan Blue. Alright, so I'm pretty sure everybody felt this inside Dragon Ball GT. And that is when they turned Goku into a kid. When I saw Goku become a kid, I just, I was just like, Really toy animation? Really? Making Goku a kid? And especially seeing Super Saiyan 3 Goku as a kid. Man, I did not like that at all. It was not epic. If anything, it was just bad. But then there was a reason why they made Goku a kid. Check that out. But despite that reason, I still feel that whenever I do a rewatch of GT and I see Goku turn into a kid, it just turned my stomach upside down. I'm just like, man, really? Here is another moment where Akira Toriyama screws Vegeta over again. This is when Vegeta had Super Saiyan Blue and he was fighting Frieza. And he was this close to kill Frieza. Honestly, when I watched that moment, I'm like, yes, this is it, guys. This is a moment where Vegeta gets his revenge. After all the stuff that Frieza did to him since he is a child till now, he could finally avenge his race and take revenge for what Frieza did to him. But then, once when Vegeta's like, Go back to hell Frieza, Frieza goes and destroys the entire planet and Vegeta dies right there. And when I just saw that, I'm just like, this definitely qualifies to be a big what the flip moment because honestly man, I really wanted to see Vegeta. Not just me, I'm pretty sure all you Z fans out there really want to see Vegeta finally take his revenge on Frieza but turns out Akira Toriyama screwed him over. Now to me, I felt this was kind of a big disappointment. We saw a huge hype up of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Gogeta was literally toying with Omega Shaman the whole time and then when Gogeta finally decided to get serious he blasted him with a Big Bang Kamehameha and when he was about to do it again he ends up failing at it and therefore they split Goku and Vegeta back to normal. That was a big what the flip man. You made a huge hype of Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 at least make him have his final showdown by destroying the enemy but instead they make him toy half the time and then they end up splitting. Now for number one, I'm pretty sure not just me but this is for every Z fans out there and that is Super Saiyan God Goku's transformation. Now when we first heard that there's going to be a Super Saiyan God, everybody anticipated that Super Saiyan God is going to look like this, a gold version of Super Saiyan 4. Every, everybody thought, hey, you know what, since he's since that term Super Saiyan God sounds so powerful, let's make him look powerful too, and we all were hoping for Super Saiyan God to look something like this. But then when they released the movie, we learned that Super Saiyan God is just a red hair version of a base form Goku. And when I saw that, I was literally like, are you serious? This is a Super Saiyan God? But then later on it grew into me and I actually started liking Super Saiyan God, it's one of my favorite forms of Goku, it looks pretty epic, you know, the red, the red hair with the normal base, but the reason why it was just a big WTF moment was because we all anticipated for Super Saiyan God to look something powerful and not to look something like his base form. And that same thing goes with Super Saiyan Blue, when we've heard that Goku's going to transform to a form stronger than a Super Saiyan God, a next level, we're all hoping, we're all, we all thought that at least Super Saiyan Blue is going to have the red hair. But instead, Akira Toriyama decided to make it blue. And I guess, and I get it, blue is a calm color and Super Saiyan Blue is a calm version of a Super Saiyan God is the reason why he made the color blue, but still. Everybody was like, what? Really? This is Super Saiyan Blue? But again, just like Super Saiyan God, this form has grown to me and I'm okay with this form too. 
That is all three people. This is my 10 WTF moments when it comes to Dragon Ball series. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about my list and what is your five or your, your two or even your one moment when it comes to Dragon Ball Z that made you just be like, what the flip? Honestly, what did I just see? As amazing Dragon Ball Z is, there were some moments that made us question like, really man? With the creator being lazy, but nonetheless, to me, this anime is the best anime out there, and it will always remain to be the best. That's the three people. Let me know what you thought about this list. And if there's anything you guys like about this list, what we have to talk about, please drop a like. That'd be amazing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'll greatly appreciate it. I'm Goku T23. Have an insane day, people. Volt weapon deployed.